gaming, supercomputers, AI, what do you think they all have in common? The answer is NVIDIA, the company that nearly joined the elite trillion dollar market cap club with the big boys like Apple, Google, Amazon and Microsoft. And not only that, their stock price also jumped by a huge 24% back in May, possibly the biggest event in the stock market this year. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. Okay now, do you remember your first ever game on your PC? Mine was GTA and it was like I had entered a whole new world. My gamer friends out there, you know how I feel and that's exactly how I found out about Nvidia. But how did a company known for dominating the gaming industry become an AI powerhouse today? Before I answer that question, you need to know a little bit about their backstory. NVIDIA was founded in 1993 by three electrical engineers, Jensen Huang, Chris Malachowski, and also Curtis Priam, with years and years of experience in the semiconductor industry. And if you don't know, it's a core industry that powers our entire world, like computers, telecommunications, cars, etc. And three of them have always wanted to make computers better in creating 3D graphics. You can think about our old school games like Kong or Space Invaders. Everything was flat and mostly two-dimensional, right? But as technology progressed, 3D graphics got slightly better, but they were often slow and bad quality because the central processing unit, aka the CPUs, weren't built for this job. And this is where Nvidia saw the money-making opportunity by making one chip that can process both 2D and 3D graphics efficiently, yet at an affordable price. And their first product was the NV1, released in 1995. But Hmm, it didn't quite meet the expectations because in very simple terms, it was quite different from the industry standard that Microsoft was starting to popularize at that time, which is the direct 3D standard. So it means product not so la cool lah. In fact, the failure costed them $10 million and they almost went bankrupt. But never mind, they didn't give up because two years later, they launched the Riva 128, real-time interactive video and animation accelerator. And why was it special? Well, that's because it could do two jobs at once, make 3D pictures and also play videos, and also compatible with the industry standard, all on one single chip. You might think, huh? Just make 3D pictures and play videos only war. Yes, sounds simple to you today, but it was considered a huge advancement back then and really makes you think how much can change in a few years thanks to technology. So people love these new tools from Nvidia and that skyrocketed their popularity in the tech industry back then. But don't click away just yet, there's no. more. Their real breakthrough came in 1999 with the release of GE Force 256, which Nvidia called it as the world's first GPU or graphics processing unit. Basically, it's like a super tool, making all your videos, images, and applications feel like it's on steroids. That's exactly how many would describe it, and this significantly contributed to Nvidia's position and reputation in the market, solidifying its role as a leading innovator in the industry. It's 14 inch. It weighs almost nothing. It's more powerful than the highest-end PlayStation. And this is the RTX 4060 Ti. And without Nvidia, there will be no nice graphics for our games today. And oh, if you are interested to invest in Nvidia stocks, you can easily do so through M Plus Global, an online stock brokerage app that's fully licensed by the Securities Commission in Malaysia, which allows you to buy US stocks and US ETFs. And what's cool about it is that you can also easily fund your account using Ringgit Malaysia through what? online FBX within two minutes only. Safe, simple, fast, and cheap. What more can you ask for, right? And thanks to them, you can now enjoy a guaranteed 20 US dollar trading voucher when you sign up using my link down below and deposit 1000 ringgit. Okay, let's get back to the video. So back to the earlier question, how did they get from gaming to AI? Well, just remember this term, CUDA, Compute Unified Device Architecture. It's a software platform that allows developers to use the NVIDIA GPUs for general purpose processing. Not just graphics, which basically means they can expand into new markets such as supercomputing, artificial intelligence, AI, and also self-driving cars. Yeah, all the cool stuff you see right now. And one of the more explosive ones which I'm sure all of you know and love, ChatGPT. And this would not have been possible without Nvidia because AI algorithms need to process vast amounts of data and make millions 
or even billions of calculations in a split second and they all require thousands of GPUs to run which is why today Nvidia holds about 88% of the GPU market share. In fact, OpenAI reportedly used 10,000 NVIDIA GPUs to train ChatGPT. Isn't that insane? And because of this whole AI go rush, they are now the main picks and shovels leader because NVIDIA has become the supplier for companies like Google and Microsoft who are seeking to integrate AI into all of their online products. And this is also reflected in their latest earnings in which their data center segment reported $15 billion revenue which is up 41% year over year. And what's even cooler is that NVIDIA also unveiled how they are making avatars in video games even more real with AI. I mean, just look at this AI-generated demo of a ramen shop in a cyberpunk world and an NPC behind the bar speaking with the player. And because this character has been infused with AI and large language models or LLM, it can understand what you say and interact with you in a really reasonable way. Crazy, right? Now, here's another question for you to think about. How long do you think Nvidia can continue to rule the AI world? Well, what I can say is they are definitely not slowing down. But in my opinion, Nvidia might not be the king forever. They may have super high valuation right now, but here are some of the risks that I see. The first is competition. If rivals like AMD and Intel start to grow more quickly or grab more of the market share, Nvidia's future cash flow would be affected and that would ultimately reduce their share price. Dominance today? Yes, but that doesn't mean forever as the tech world moves very, very fast. And the next problem would be the unreasonably high expectations from Nvidia investors. If for some reason, Nvidia ends up underperforming the current expectation, which is absurdly high at over 200 PE ratio, investors would expect less future returns and could sell off shares. And this would also lower the stock's growth premium and bring down the company's PE multiple back to reality as well. Basically, they have almost no room for error, just like Tesla back in 2021. And the third and not the least significant concern is supply chain disruptions. Nvidia designs its chips but relies on companies mostly in Taiwan, like TSMC to manufacture them because they are a fabless company, which means any issues with these manufacturers could severely affect Nvidia as well. So it's worth noting as an investor on how Nvidia is diversifying its supply chain risk because without supply, there will be no product and no money, right? Anyways, what do you think? Can Nvidia rule the AI world forever? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And while you're at it, please hit the like and subscribe button so that I will be one extra day away from being homeless. Thank you for watching. And as usual, I will see you in the next one.